Gifts and toys we knew we'd find, but we never realized a baby born one blessed night gave us the greatest gift of our lives. We are the reason that He. Show us the reason to live. As the years went by, we learned more about this. The giving of ourselves and what. Father, we thank you for being our everlasting God. You are our rock in the midst of these difficult and unstable times. You remain faithful and love us even in our most unlovable selves. You are a great provider. You have seen us through every crisis and provided help in times of need. You are our healer, our protector, and our ever-loving Father. Forgive us, Father, for sins we commit. Cleanse our hearts and our minds from any unrighteousness that might be displeasing to you. Search our hearts and convict us of sins we may be harboring. Help us, Lord, to be faithful to you and to be a blessing to our family, our friends, and our community. We lift up to you GCF Montalban, our Pastor Arnel and his family, Brother Carlo and his family, and all the volunteer leaders and workers who are generously giving their time, talents, and treasures. Bless them and their families and continue to use them as a blessing to the church and to the people they meet. Bless them with wisdom, good health, and energy as they continue to work for your kingdom. May they encounter you as a generous God who is able to provide for all their needs. We lift up the GCF Montalban families. 
Could you continue to protect us all from harm and from sickness? We pray for healing for those who are sick, that they may encounter you as their Jehovah Rapha, their Jehovah Jireh, a Father who heals and provides. Bless our families, our relationships, and our fellowships, that they may all give glory to you. We pray for our group groups and the Holy, that the Holy Spirit will move mightily in the lives of each member as they meet in fellowship, even online. Cause them to grow in number and in spiritual maturity. May our online programs, the growth groups, the weekly prayer meetings, the Sunday's online service be blessed with good internet connection and united hearts and spirits who are able to bond together despite the physical distance. Lord, we pray for the Philippines. Have mercy on us. May our country leaders and officials be convicted to truly serve the people and to allocate needed resources to the needy. We pray for the COVID-19 vaccine to be safe and available for all, that all may be equally given a chance to be protected from the virus and be healthy. Lord, we lift up to you the Philippines and the whole world as well. As we celebrate Christmas differently this year, may we remember that the reason for the season remains the same. May Jesus Christ and His salvation be more emphasized this year in every home as we reflect on what is most essential with regard to our relationships, our health, and the resources you have entrusted upon us. May we trust in your goodness and in your faithfulness in seeing us through the pandemic as the year ends. All this we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We pray that today's message will strengthen your faith. If this happened, we love to hear your story. Send your story to our FB page or you may send it to our personal messenger. If you want to pray for or want to ask spiritual guidance or would like to join a Bible study group or discipleship group, just message us at GCF Montalban FB page. Or you may direct your concern to Brother Carlo Asilo or to Pastor Arnel G. Aristoteles. If this ministry has blessed you, and if you want to support this ministry financially, you may give your tithes and offerings through online transfer or you may deposit it to our Banco de Oro account with account name GCF Inc. and with account number 0102-2800-6618. You may also give your tithes and offerings to Palawan Express, Western Union, Cebuana Lulier, M. Lulier, or LBC Padala under the name of Carlo Asilo. Brother Carlo will deposit your sent money to our church BDO account and will send back the copy of deposit slip to you for accountability purposes. Again, may the Lord bless you as you listen to the message today. GCF Montalban Children's Ministry continue its goal in our community, sharing God's Word to our children through biblical teaching in order to attain Christ-like maturity. So we are inviting children ages 4 to 13 years old to join our Sunday school at 10 a.m. via Zoom meeting. Do you want to know about Bible heroes and heroines? Do you want to know who gave them power and wisdom to overcome their problems? If you want more, then what are you waiting for? Come and join us. We will share with you different Bible stories, inspiring songs, arts and crafts, and meet new friends. GCF Montalban Children's Ministry also welcome parents, singles, and young professionals who are willing to serve as voluntary teachers to our Sunday schoolers. If God is calling you to serve, please contact Sister Norma Argente at cell phone number 0921-975-8387 or send a message to GCF Montalban FB page. GCF Montalban Children's Ministry, we're so excited to see you and be part of the ministry. See you there! Our scripture passage is found in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, 
everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. May the Lord bless the reading of His Word. Good morning po sa inyong lahat and uh, welcome po kayo sa ating uh, Sunday worship service. And uh, before we continue our message, tayo po yung manalangin. Let us pray. Panginoon, aming Diyos, salamat po sa umagang ito. Hindi po namin ang uh, inyong guidance and uh, I'm, I'm asking for your knowledge, Panginoon, that you provide me knowledge, Panginoon. Uh, every word that will come out of my mouth maging blessing po sa amin lahat and uh, patuloy na po kayo bumabay at uh, magpala sa amin sa umagang ito. Salamat po in Jesus' name. Amen. And uh, gusto ko po magpasalamat sa Panginoon dahil uh, it's a privilege na mag-serve sa Kanya uh, through, share, uh, through uh, sharing His Word. And I hope po na everyone, ay, everyone is fine. And um, kahit na po sa kalagitnaan ng pandemic, eh, uh, we still thank the Lord for His um, blessing. And medyo po nasasanay na po tayo sa ating new normal setup, no? Uh, a large portion of our lives was changed. Marami pong mga dating kagawian na hindi na po natin nagagawa ngayon dahil po sa pandemya. Buti na lang po ay may technology po tayo na you know, that can help us from coping up with our usual lives. No? So whether it could be family matters, office, and most of all matters for the Lord. So Yan, yung kamukha nitong mga, uh, yung mga worship services, prayer meeting, you know, pwede tayong, kahit na hindi po tayo pwede magkita-kita, meron pa rin pong uh, application na pwede natin gamitin, kamukha ng Zoom, uh, Google Meet, no? And we just need to adjust and maximize its potential, no? So moving forward lang po tayo, not backward. And uh, going back to our verse, um, let me read it to you. It says here sa verse sa Isaiah 9.6. Uh, actually, please allow me to use this verse as uh, a springboard po. No? So, we are going to not to dwell on this, but um, as we go along sa message, I will be providing uh, support, supporting verses. So, ang sabi po dito sa Isaiah 9.6, For unto us, a child is born. Unto us, a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Napakaganda po ng verse, ano? Um, <clears throat> actually, nung kinausap po ko ni Pastor, and uh, sabi po niya sa akin, um, Brother Paul, ikaw uh, naman po mag-message mag this coming uh, December, yung isang slot po sa iyo. Tinanong ko po, sabi ko, ano pong message po, may topic pa po tayo. At sabi niya, anything about Christmas. So I prayed for it, and actually, meron pong unang message na dapat yun po. Pero I do believe as I pray, ito po ang gusto ng Panginoon, ano, na ating uh, aking i-share sa inyo. So um, when we, you know, read this verse, ano po unang-unang po ang pasok sa atin? No, clearly we can tell that this pertains to our Lord Jesus Christ, no? That he was presented as a gift. Okay? So mankind received the greatest gift of all. And uh, it tells us how extravagant how bold, no? How definite this verse is. Napakaganda po ng description at sino po ang hindi matatanggi, no? Kasi ang sabi dito, eh, ang kaganda ng description niya, eh, no? Sabi niya, um, a son is given, no? Binigyan tayo and the government shall be upon his shoulder. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Eh, kahit sino pong makakinig niyan, eh, parang sino po ba ang tatanggi dito, no? So, heaven is, is excited, no, to proclaim this good news. 
It tells about our Lord Jesus Christ, who, who He is, sino ba po siya, what is His role in our daily lives, no? And if we already received the Lord as our Savior, saved na po tayo. So this uh, verse, particular verse, serves as a reminder, no? That there is always a hope. No, through our Lord Jesus Christ, ano man ang kahirapan natin sa buhay, ano man ang mga pinagdadaanan natin, no? That uh, wa- there, there, there is a time that uh, Jesus Christ was born, no? So, maganda pong balik-balikan natin itong verse na to, especially, you know, in times of troubles and, and trials. So, um, it's Christmas once more, no? Sa so, konting araw na lang po, eh, Pasko na, no? And people around the world are going to celebrate it. Ano man ang mangyari. In spite of the trials that we are facing, kamukha ng, especially here in the Philippines, so huwag na po tayo lumayo. Uh, kamukha ng, uh, yan, yung COVID-19, plus uh, yung typhoon, typhoon uh, Ulysses, di ba? So talaga nagkapatong-patong na, no? no? If we, if we uh, <clears throat> and in spite of that, no, no, in spite, in spite of all of those trials, you know, mga pagsubok sa buhay, uh, hindi po pa rin natin maialis, no, sa ating mga sarili na iselebrate ang Christmas. And because of this, the government is preventing an outbreak. Parang nagpo-forecast na, dahil alam nila, uh, they know how we celebrate Christmas. So, um, this is one of the holidays that we celebrate the most, no? That's why nagpalabas po sila ng guidelines on how to celebrate Christmas. Kung nanood po kayo ng balita, no? Makikita niyo po yun. Uh, ano-ano pa po ito? Uh, first is uh, yung no Christmas party, no? Sa gobyerno, sa, sa office. So parang yung nakagawian natin eh, uh, hindi na po natin magagawa ngayon para ma-prevent po ang pag-spread ng COVID-19. Next is ang sabi, no, caroling daw po, no? So, isa sa mga uh, prominent na tradisyon ng Pilipino yung caroling, especially sa mga bata. So, hindi na rin pwede po yan. And the limited attendance on family gatherings, no, and etc. Of course, uh, pinipilig- pinip- by doing this, matipigilan po natin ang, ang pagkalat ng COVID-19. So, uh, you know, those guidelines are for, for Christmas, uh, celebrating Christmas. And what about your New Year? Eh, lately lang po sa balita, ang sabi eh, bawat na po raw ang torotot. So, paano po tayo mag-iingay? So, you know, be creative. Yung any means na walang touch, uh, walang kawaan. Sabi nga sa balita eh, mag, yung ano daw, pag ubusin na sa sasakyan, pag pukpuk ng kaldero, eh, yung mga yeah, yung mga tipong ganon, no? Parang, uh, it's way, way out of the norm. So, talagang nagugulat tayo, no? So, marami po sa atin ang naninibago sa <clears throat> pag-practice ng new normal, especially during the holidays, no? And, uh, mga kapatid, I'm not saying na bawal ito, no? And totoo naman po na talagang naninibago tayo nakakalungkot po kasi we are limited to do things and hindi po natin magagawa ang mga naksanay na natin no? dahil sa pandemic and uh, well um, in, in, in relation to our topic today we don't want to miss our Christmas because of these situations no? in our lives but there are times that people miss our Christmas you know who the Lord is and what is the real meaning of this season Yung verse po na binasa natin kanina, napakaganda po, di ba? Ando doon po yung mga katangian ng Panginoon. And it says that uh, the Lord was given as a gift sa atin, no? But, kung isipin niyo po, meron pa rin po mga tao na namimiss ito. Namimiss itong part na to, no? And, uh, that is why we are going to talk about uh, people in the Bible who missed out Christmas. And what is the reason? No? Why? Eh, brother Paul, meron po ba? No, meron, no? Uh, actually, um, as I read, uh, um, matagal ko na po ito alam. Bata pa lang po ako. And, uh, 
probably this is what the Lord's want me to share. So, uh, <clears throat> bago tayo pumunta sa message, gusto ko po sana sa inyong i-share no? yung isang situation sa office because um, uh, I'm working in a call center um, uh, setup no? and uh, meron po akong, uh, in relation with our topic today, meron po akong nakausap. Sabi niya, uh, I'm calling you because I lost my package. Yan, it was supposed to be a gift for me. Yan, this coming Christmas. Yan yung mga ganun scenario po. Um, tinatanong po namin kung anong reason. No? <clears throat> Kasi kapag ka, kasalanan po ng company at ng courier, kung nawala yung item, pinapalitan po namin. Pero there are terms and conditions na kailangan apply. But kung kasalanan po ng customer, ay hindi na po. So, nagtanong po ako, sabi ko, oh, can you please tell me the reason why it was lost? Sabi niya, because I'm too busy. <laughs> I did not check my front porch kasi sa Amerika, doon po lang din. Kapag lang na, pag medyo malaki, dinadrop, dinadrop off lang nila doon sa harapan. So, hindi na po nila kailangan, hindi ko mukha sa atin siya Shopee, no? Lazada, kapag ka may dumating tayong package, talagang they call our name. At hindi sila aalis agad hindi natin tinatanggap at may pa-picture pa. No, na katunayan na natanggap natin yung yung ano, yung package. Pero doon hindi. <clears throat> so marami pong dahilan ano. Kaya po niya na miss yung marami po sanang dahilan na kaya po nila hindi natanggap yung package nila. So we're going to talk about, you know, people in the Bible who missed out Christmas and why. Hmm. Eh, sino sino po ba mga tao nito who are the people in the Bible who missed Christmas? <clears throat> Meron na po po kayong idea kung sino sino po sila. Okay, so let us go to the first uh, first in our list, no? Makikita po natin ito sa Luke 2:7. Ang sabi dito sa Luke 2:7, let, let me read it to you. And she brought forth her first firstborn son and wrapped him in a swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. So, according to Luke 2.7, sa tingin niyo po, sino yung first person na who missed out Christmas? Yun po ay yung, de- yung innkeeper, no? Or caretaker, o katiwala, no? So, <clears throat> sa mga in, yung mga uh, parang mga motel, yan. Especially sa mga traveler, no? Uh, marami po, kahit na dun sa nung panahon ng Bible, may mga in po. And dito po tumutuloy yung mga, mga ngalakal. Uh, especially before, wala pang sasakyan. So, uh, along the way, meron po talaga yan para pagdating ng gabi, makapagpahinga po sila. And syempre sa in, may caretaker po yan or innkeeper. Yan. Sila po yung mga naglilinis, no? <coughs> yung mga nag-accommodate, no? Sa mga visitors, tenants, at of course, uh, taga-singil. So, uh, according to this verse, so wala po silang nakuha ng lugar, no? Mary and Joseph were traveling during those times. And alam niyo po, you know, yung sitwasyon ni Mary. She's pregnant and about to give birth. So, kung tayo po, no, uh, as a normal people, uh, a no- normal person, makita ka ng ganun, ano? Uy, mga anak na. Ano kaya gagawin mo? Tapos lumapit sa'yo, humingi ng tulong. O, oh, kahit ako hindi innkeeper, no, I'll do something. No? Ganun tayo mga Pilipino. Eh. Tutulungan ko yan. No? Pero here, in this case, in, in Mary's case and Joseph's case, wala po. There was no room. So, the innkeeper could have provided assistance man lang, di ba? Sana man lang eh. Ah, ito po, uh, pagpasensya nun, wala po tayong available na room, pero dito po sa aking humble house or humble home, meron po kung sariling kwarto, baka pwede niyo pong gamitin for, for the night, no? Makapanak, makapanganak lang po kayo na maayos. Pwede po niyang gawin yun, no? He have, should go the extra mile, or do something, or did something. Or, oh, uh, may garahe dito, pero may bubong, no? Meron po kung banig, no? at konting mga humot, dito po muna kayo. No? So, he could have been willing to offer his room, but he did not. No? So, 
in spite of, of uh, seeing Mary's condition no, na malapit ng mga anak, pero he chose not to help them. And so he missed out Christmas. No? There was, uh, sabi sa, uh, sa verse, there was no room. So uh, let us try to apply this in our Christian lives. No? Paano po kaya yung brother Paul? No room. So, is our lives too full of things that we can't even give Jesus a room in our daily lives? No? Masyado po ba tayong busy? Uh, Punong-puno ba ang ating schedule? Alam po po na all of us are working moms, working dads. Ganun din po ang sitwasyon namin ng aking wife. No? And we have kids na kailangan natin alagaan sa office. No? And kung isipin mo, kulang na lang, may kasabihan nga na ginagawang gabi yung araw at yung araw ginagawang gabi. <laughs> Marami pong lumagawa sa atin yan. No? Just to get passed by the day, no? na talagang mahirap po. But according to the Bible, we need to find room you know, for Jesus Christ. For example, so number one, we need to provide Jesus room in our daily decisions, no? According to Proverbs 3, Proverbs 3, 6, uh, In all thy ways, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct thy paths, no? Sa so, mga decision po natin, uh, well, personally, ako po, uh, I am guilty, no? Kapag ka meron po kaming balak ni Mrs., balak namin, balak ng mga anak namin, uh, Palagi po, no, hindi po kami nagko-consult sa Panginoon. And that happens a lot, no? And, uh, ang sabi nga dito, eh, we should pray first, no? Next is, we should consider His will. Kapag meron po tayong bala, uh, will ba ito ng Panginoon, no? So, uh, napakalaking bagay po yun na Nakita po natin, no? Kung ano po mapupulot nating aral dito sa inkeeper, no? No room, no? So, uh, we should create a space, find time, no? For our Lord Jesus Christ. So, number two po is we need to find room. We need, we need to find Jesus room in our daily schedule. Yan, kamukha po kanina ng pinag-usapan natin na we are too busy dami natin ginagawa sa office, sa bahay, no? And a lot of times, we tend to forget about the Lord, no? Yung mga things na about Him. Uh, minsan, nami-miss po natin sumama sa prayer meeting online na nga po, di ba? Minsan, nami-miss na natin yung Sunday worship service. Kaya, kaya isang pindot, one pindot away, may Zoom meeting, no? But still, na hindi po tayo nakakadalo. So, Ang sabi sa Deuteronomy 8.11, uh, Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God, no? which is totoo. In our keepings, uh, in, in not keeping His commandments and His judgment, and His states, his statutes, which I command thee this day. So, ano po pwede natin mapulog dito? So, we, we have to create time for, uh, for devotion, no? So, uh, Kasama na po yung prayer time and reading the Bible sa devotion na yun. Oo, di ba? May times na pagkabi na, uh, brothers and sisters, pag, actually, pag napaupo nga ako sa upuan, imposible hindi ako makatulog. <laughs> no, talaga sa pagod. But, we really need to find, you know, uh, create time for our Lord. Next is, we need to find time to serve Him. No? Um, Sa church po, napakaraming opportunities. Napakaraming uh, mga pwedeng gawin. No? All we need to do is to ask, pray and uh, ask our pastor. No? But we need to ask permission first sa ating pastor. No? Pastor, um, ako po ay may desire na maglingkod. Ano po ba ang pwede kong gawin? Kaya po. Next po is we need to remind ourselves every day no, to thank Him. Uh, every day, no? Uh, may times kasi na nakakalimutan po natin siya, no? Um, like for example, yung sa pagkain na nga lang, no? may times na hindi po tayo nakapag-pray, 
uh, we we tend to uh, parang magreklamo, complain a lot, no? We we forget that ang dami kong blessing na binibigay sa atin ng Diyos no? sa kapila ng mga trials. So, yun po, no? Uh, uh, gusto po natin, sino po gusto maging in-keeper? <laughs> Ayan. So, I hope that um, meron po tayong napulot, napulot na aral no? sa in-keeper. Bakit po niya, why he missed out Christmas? So, next po. Uh, second, Ang um, the next person who uh, missed out Christmas ay eh, medyo bigatin po siya, no? And he is King Herod. Oh, kilala po natin siya lahat. King Herod. Now, it says here, Matthew 2, 3. Sabi po ng Bible verse na to is, When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, no? Kasi, <clears throat> dito pa lang sa verse ito, makikita mo na, eh, no, na may ibang ugali siya. He was disturbed, no? That it means negative, no? And uh, so let me continue. And all Jerusalem with him. Herod missed out Christmas because he's too greedy, no? So uh, he even ordered to to uh, children two years old below to be killed, no? Sa sobrang power hungry na pao, mas sa sobrang kasakiman niya. No? So Herod was troubled by the king of the Jews because Herod is the present king during that time. Isipin mo nga naman, ano, siya ang yung hari, no? Tapos, biglang, may ma- siya ang reigning na hari, no? And biglang may, may maririnig siya na, uy, meron daw ipapanganak na panibagong hari, no? <laughs> that knowing that there will be another king, no? Besides King Herod, so what happens? What happened? I mean, nataranta po siya, no? So sabi dito, Herod was renowned for his paranoia. Kaya nga pinapatay niya yung mga children, no? Uh, below two years old. Dahil doon. Kasi nga, gusto niya ma-prevent na mapangatak itong king na to. At, you know, he, he will remain in that throne as being king. Um... So, um, maraming kong nakakaalam sa atin na uh, Herod is really greedy and he is a greedy king. No? So, alam na natin ang tunay na huli nga, ika nga nila. No? So, uh, actually, medyo nag-research po ako na meaning ng greedy. No? It says in uh, Mariam Webster, ang sabi dito is, greedy is having or showing a selfish desire for wealth and possession. Yan, wealth and possession. So, uh, this is how King Herod loves and how he clings, you know, how he clings to his first is, ano, position as a king. Next is, with his possessions. So, magkaiba po yun, ha? Position and possessions. So, by doing this, he loves his position and possessions. This makes King Herod miss Christmas. Nakakalungkot po, no? Na um, isang hari, no? Who missed out Christmas. Kasi nasa, nasa kanya na po lahat ng kapangyarihan. Probably, magag- uh, he, he has like, uh, nasa kanya na po lahat, no? Kasi hari siya, no? Pero dahil nga dito sa possession and position niya, no? Masyado na minahal, no? at uh, natatakot po siya na mawala ito sa kanya. So, as Christians, we should not love and give too much importance in our possessions and position. No? This is how we apply this in our Christian lives. Kasi nga, alam, al- alam po natin na all of this comes from God. No? Blessing po ito sa atin. Pero hindi po sinasabing, hindi po, wala po ako sinasabi na uh, you know, giving importance with this, with, with, with what you have is masama, no? Hindi po. Pero, this should not hinder us from serving the Lord at maging katiso- katisuran po sa kapwa kristyano. So, more, moreover, this should motivate us from serving Him more, di ba? Parang, 
pinagpala ka ng Panginoon, sure mo naman yan, di ba? Kasi uh, kahit sa kanya naman ang galing yan, eh, di ba? So, we should be a channel of blessing to, kanino kaya? First, to our family. Immediate family, no? We should uh, be a channel of blessing to our immediate family, um, to our parents, to our lola, lola no? to our fam, to our, to our uh, brothers and sisters, mga pinsan. You know, we should act differently, no? Kasi nga, we are chosen people. We, we are His chosen people. And kailangan maging Christ, makita po, na, na, makita po nila sa atin ang Christ-likeness, no? Next is we should be a channel of blessings to the church. Yan. So, uh, kailangan po maging blessing po tayo sa church. No? Hindi po uh, katisuran. And uh, we should encourage each other. No? We should pray for each other. Kailangan po uh, in one accord po tayo. Kailangan po nagmamahalan po tayo. No? Especially po sa mga leaders ng church natin. Sa ating pastors, sa elders. We should pray for them. No? We should uh, love them, we should respect them, we should uh, submit to them. <clears throat> Kasi yan po sinabi sa Bible. And if your time comes, ano, na ikaw naman yung nandudun, pre-demote ka ng Panginoon, no? eh, ikaw din naman po ang makaranas ng uh, respect galing sa iba. Okay, so next is we should be a, a channel of blessings to others. Yan. Sino kaya mga others na to? Kapitbahay, uh, mga friends, si BFF, mga kasama sa trabaho. Ayan. So, ito po ang medyo critical day because they are, some of them are not uh, Christians. No? So, we really need to pray for them. We really need to do we really, we really need to um, go the extra mile to do, to those God, to those people others kasi nakatingin sila sa atin no? and we are branded Christians no so we really need to show kindness we really we really, we really they, they need to see Jesus Christ in us no so no um, if we're going to think about King Hero napaka uh, napakalaki po ng pagmamahal niya no, sa kanyang position and possessions and this is why he missed out Christmas no so we're going to the third and last ano and since uh, this is the third and last no uh, gagawa po ako ng ng recap ayan So uh, let me go go ahead and do a recap para dito sa pangatlo kasi medyo special mention po ito. <laughs> may idea na may idea na po ba kayo kung sino sino, sino itong tatlong ito? Ay, I'm sorry, sino pong pangatlo? No? So this is the recap. So the first one is the innkeeper was to, was ignorant of the on what was happening in his own backyard, no? And too busy to take notice na nasa harapan na, na, na niya pala si Jesus Christ nasa harapan na niya uh, this, yung Savior no? pero wala hindi po niya na notice yun. next is Herod King Herod knew what he was go what was going on ito naman alam na alam niya no? but was too evil and power hungry too greedy no? to give up his rule and authority hmm ganun pala yun, no so, but the third, uh, this third group of all the people, no, uh, these people should have never missed Christmas. Kasi, they knew the scriptures very well. So, meron na po ba kayong idea kung sino-sino mga to, no? So, uh, let me read, you, read to you this verse. It says in Matthew 3.6, no, ang sabi dito, when King Herod and heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. No? When he called together all people's chief priests and teachers of the law, yun na. So, uh, he asked them where, where's the, where the Messiah was to be born. 
saan nga baraw? At sabi sa kanya, eh, in Bethlehem, sa Judea, no? they replied, For this is what the prophet has written. Yun mga sagot sa kanya, no? Parang, it means that alam na alam po ng mga taong ito, no? Uh, uh, things about the Lord Jesus Christ and the prophecy. So, the third uh, people who missed out Christmas is the religious leaders, no? <clears throat> Sad to say, no? Uh, Ano ba ang mga uh, katangian nito mga religious leaders? These are the people who study the Bible, no? who study the scriptures. Uh, so alam na alam po nila no? ang mga uh, kaganapan. <clears throat> so uh, hindi po hindi po ba tayo na, na nagulat ano? Bakit no? So, does that surprise you? It doesn't surprise us because they knew, uh, they knew and for, for God made it very clear in the scriptures, in the scriptures. So, nagulat tayo, no, na, hmm, dapat alam nila, eh, no? They knew where the Messiah was to be born, no? But they didn't go there, no? And they and uh, they didn't uh, go to Bethlehem to pay respect to Jesus, ano? And uh, they they don't even do the right thing. Sana malas si Nabi na, oh ayano pala King Herod, oo. Meron pong na uh, prophecy, no? Na meron pong isang hari, to pento na na hari. So kailangan pong natayo don. Dapat si Nabi Hanman lang niya nila, no? Si since advisor po siya, they serve as a, an advisor to the king. Pero hindi. They did not do the right thing. And uh, even though they know, they knew, they didn't go there and pay respect to the Lord Jesus Christ. No? So this is the reason why you know, they missed out Christmas. <clears throat> Yun nga, sabi nga rito, they should have done the right thing. No? And uh, how can we apply this in our daily lives? Ang sabi po sa 2 Timothy uh, 4.2 Ito po yung ano eh, uh, ito po yung alam mo na no, pero hindi po natin ginagawa. No? May tawag dun eh, uh, uh, yung sin of not doing it. Uh, it says here in uh, uh, 2 Timothy 4.2 uh, basahin ko po sa inyo. Actually, um, marami po akong mga bago po basahin yung verse niya, marami po akong naiisip na mga instances, no? Na mga alam natin as a Christian, alam natin na dapat gawin natin pero hindi natin ginagawa, no? And I just pick uh, some of those important matters. So, the first one da, na naisip ko po ay yung nakalagay sa 2 Timothy 4.2 at sabi dito, preach the word, no? Be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long sufferings and doctrine. Ano kaya yun? So, number one, we know that we should share this word. Yan. Um, a lot of times, uh, guilty po ako dito, no? And kahit na nasa harapan ko na po yung gusto kong share na eh, na naunahan po ako na iya. And uh, nang sabi nga po eh, this is why those uh, religious leaders missed out Christmas because although alam nila, no, pero hindi nila ginawa. So, um, sharing the word, no? we should share the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, uh, actually we can pray first, no? Uh, panalangin niyo po muna na yung inyong shishira ni eh, uh, gabayan no? or gabayan bigyan po kayo ng, ng knowledge ng guidance ng ating Panginoon words to say no? on, on, on uh, sharing His word so next po is ito po yung uh, isa pong binigay sa akin ng Panginoon na uh, isa po sa mga list no? na dapat natin gawin pero hindi po natin ginagawa <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm not telling that all of us are like this, no? Pero may mga iba pong nag-share nag naman ng gospel, no? 
So next is, uh, so we know that we need to worship Him every Sunday and Wednesday. Uh, marami pong times, no, na although alam natin na dapat, pero hindi po natin nagagawa. Uh, before, uh, nagkakaroon po tayo ng reason kasi nga, punta pa tayo ng church, mag-release pa tayo, all in all, in all ma- tayo po ay mamamasahe pa or mag-commute, mag-drive, no? Pero ngayon, uh, knowing uh, what's happening around the world, pandemic po, we're just one click away no? from the Zoom meeting para sa Sunday worship service and uh, Wednesday prayer meeting. And we always need to remind, uh, remind ourselves no? that our presence is a blessing to others. So, ang sabi sa Hebrews 10.25, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, no, as the manner of some, is to, to be uh, but exhorting one another, and so much uh, and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. Yun yan, no? not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. So ngayon, medyo, uh, we cannot apply that, ano, physically, kasi nga kailangan social distancing, but it's a meeting, no? Uh, we should be there, no? Uh, we're just one click away. So, uh, we need to take note of that, no? Ito pong last, eh, I'm praying for this kasi uh, ito po ay isang napaka-delicate, no? Na topic sa church. But I, I do believe that the Lord has a purpose, no? And I pray that every word that comes out of my mouth ay maging blessing po sa atin. So, our third is uh, giving our tithes. Uh, ang sabi sa 2 Corinthians 9.7 Every man according as he purposed in his heart <clears throat> So, let him give not grudgingly no? or not for of necessity for God loveth a cheerful giver. Yan. So, ang pinakaming point ko rito is we should give out of love no <clears throat> this is having uh, i'm not pertaining to not giving or giving no? but i'm pertaining to uh, ano po ba ang dapat nating attitude pagka we're going to give our tithes sa panginoon ah uh, oh brother po ang hirap din po ng sir parang papikit mo siyang nilalagay dun sa <laughs> yung pinapasa ganun every sunday no before but we can change our attitudes no? because uh, we know that uh, every blessing comes from the Lord. At kung meron man, pwedeng, at kung meron man, magpapalit doon, eh, siya rin naman, di ba po? So we should give out of love, no? Yung hindi napipilitan lang. So, <clears throat> uh, as we go on, uh, nalaman po natin ano po sino po yung uh, tatlong uh, three, uh, I mean uh, three sets of, of person or people who missed out Christmas. First is the innkeeper. Second is uh, King Herod. No. Third are the the religious leaders. No. Now let me just mention. Uh, meron po akong special mention dito. Ito naman po yung mga people na mga tao sa Bible na did not miss Christmas. So I just uh, named two. Uh, ayoko magpakatagal because uh, limited po atin time. So, uh, uh, number one is the Magi. No? Alam mo po natin to, yung Three wise men. Uh, according to the tradition nga, at nakasaya na, nakasanayan natin, may pangalan pa nga ito, di ba? Ito si Melchor, Gaspar, and Baltasar. <laughs> Yung sa line na natin. But anyway, ang sabi nga sa Bible are the, yung Magi. And, um, ganun lang po ba? Simple, parang, ah, pumunta sila sa Panginoon, ganun. Uh, ah, nabasa po natin na, uh, they, they bear gifts, they, they went traveling. Hindi po ganun ka, kadali yun, no? So, they, they exerted effort, no? So, uh, they uh, have gone the extra mile. No? Just to meet our Lord, no? the infant Jesus. 
So, um, the Magi, they were the ones who traveled miles just to see Jesus. Uh, nung unang panahon po, nung panahon ng Bible, wala pa pong kotse, and you know, they, they uh, umasa po sila sa, uh, sa camel, sa kabayo, sa donkey, no? And, of course, if you're going to, you know, uh, calculate, no? Or ano po ba ang mangyayari kung long travel, of course, magdadala ka ng tauhan. Of course, magdadala ka ng pagkain. Of course, magdadala ka ng mga gamit, tent, no? Along the way, kailangan nyo mag-tent or mag- uh, mag-camp, no? Kasi nga, malayo. So, hindi po ganun-ganun lang yun. And second, uh, ano po bang ginawa nito mga magi na to? They offered gifts, no? Yung gold, frankincense, and mirror. And every uh, part of this gift has a reason, no? So, hindi lang po, ano, hindi lang po sila dumalo, pero meron po sila regalo, no? And the third one, ito po yung pinaka uh, gusto ko. Uh, they were the, the, the people in the Bible who humbled themselves and submit to the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ. No, not like King Herod kanina, na hari, nung nalaman niya na may ipapanganak na hari, nagalit siya. But ito, iba, no? They were, uh, they were wise men, they were considered as royalty, pero they humbled themselves no, and submitted to the authority of our Lord. Mm. And uh, the, the last one, yung sa special mention natin, eh, alam ko meron na kayong ano, no, idea. And these are the shepherds, no, mga pastol. So, um, <clears throat> ito po yung uh, mga na, nangangalaga sa mga flock ng sheep ng araw na yun. No? And according to the Bible, they were the ones who saw the star, no, the, uh, the star of David. And uh, it's because of their simplicity, no? Simplicity and, and humility. Kabalik ka po ito eh. Kanina, di ba? Mga magi, mga pantas, wise men, mayaman, pinag-aralan. But these are the simple person during those times in the Bible, no? Uh, <clears throat> mga, let's say, mga, mga simple tao. Mga walang kaya, no? And... Uh, their simplicity and humility made them not to miss Christmas. No? They believe at once. No, uh, hindi po sila hindi po nahirapan na na mag-explain sa kanila or you know walang uh, they they uh, believe kasi meron po rin silang um, parang idea on on the Lord Jesus Christ's birth. No, yung prophecy. So. Uh, these are the people who believe and who worship Jesus as a Savior. No? Tinanggap po nila. And uh, they experienced Christmas firsthand, no? By simply accepting and believing in our Lord Jesus Christ. So yun po, no? <clears throat> um, so we're talking about Christmas. So Christmas, no? This is where it all started po, no? So, we don't want uh, us, ikaw, kayo, tayo, to miss our Christmas this year, no? Uh, as, as we celebrate uh, Christmas, let us not forget its true meaning. Uh, Jesus was born in a manger who took the form of a man, no? Uh, to take our place from God's judgment. He has presented as he, he was presented as a gift for mankind, no? And all we need to do is to accept that gift. So um, for us as uh, according to the verse that we uh, read ang ating text po natin ngayong gabi nito. Ayan. Isaiah 9:6 For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, 
the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Sana po ay hindi po natin mamiss itong uh, gift na to. And by not missing this gift, we're not going to miss Christmas. Let us pray. Panginoon, salamat po sa araw na ito na binigay niyo po. Thank you for giving me the wisdom, Panginoon, to share your word. And I pray that uh, uh, your word, this message, would be a blessing to them as we celebrate Christmas. Uh, Lord, patuloy na po kayong magpala, uh, mabay, sa bawat isa sa amin, Panginoon. And as we end, um, as I end this message, Panginoon, I pray that you continue to bless us spiritually, physically, emotionally, and financially. Salamat po, Panginoon, on the place in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us for today's worship. Join us again next week for another lesson. If this service has blessed you, we would like to hear about it. Just send your stories. And if you want to support this ministry financially, message us at our GCF Montalban FB page. Once again, thank you. Have a blessed and fruitful week. God bless you.